Hello and welcome again to Nomad's World. I'm Nomad. Today I'm going to show you a little bit of what I've done off camera yesterday. Uh, we didn't. We did a bit of mining down there. Um, nothing really to show, but it. We did manage to get a few more iron, uh, a little more gold. I smelted some. Uh, made a few things here that are going to be useful in this episode. Um, I got a few hoppers, a mine cart, some rails, some powered rails, some torches, uh, a bit more glass, uh, as you can see. Uh, I used quite a bit of glass in the last uh, off camera, and uh, so I my extras were considerable for future projects. Um, as you can see, I got quite a bit more. Uh, cobblestone, more dirt, more redstone. I uh, did a bit of exploring around the surroundings over by the village and over by the mountain. I uh, went down in some of the, the uh, caverns and collected what iron and gold I could find. Uh, I left most you know, anything else I just left. Um, that's pretty much all I've seen. Uh, if I'd come across any diamonds, of course, I would have collected those, but I, w I wasn't down quite that low. Uh, got a few tree uh, uh, pieces of wood. I did some uh, a tree farm. Um, I'll show you that in a second. And uh, so here you can see that I'm mostly working with oak saplings now. And uh, I did go and harvest some dark oak for making my... Uh, oak fences, oak, the gates, and some doors. We'll be using those also um, in this episode. The uh, doors, you need about 40 of them for an iron farm, and so I'm going to use those. That I just wanted to use up some of this wood here because uh, I don't really use it much, but I've got plenty of gates. Um, don't have much in the way of oak fencing but the contrast makes it really easy to see the gate because of the contrast in color so um, found during my adventures underground I did find quite a bit of uh, uh, iron but I also found another dungeon uh, it was a spider spawner unfortunately that was I was really hoping to find a skeleton uh, spawner and uh, but it does, that dungeon had two chests in it and I managed to find a di magic uh, m music disc uh, found some beetroot seeds and I wanted that reminded me I wanted to see if I could do something here um, now I was thinking maybe I could do something with this to make it into seeds, but that doesn't appear to be the case. Um, back in there, you go. Put that next to that. Uh, cocoa beans. Where's my pumpkin seeds? Put that next to that. And I don't have any melon seeds yet. Hopefully we'll find some of those eventually. Uh, found a bunch of flowers and a saddle. I found a few other things. Uh, there was a, a horse armor that was made of iron. I smelted that down along with the uh, extra pair of pants I had. I didn't feel the need to keep storing them. And, you know, and later I'll need, uh, need uh, another pair, but uh, I'll just make those. And um, so that's it for that. I did add a sixth furnace here and a chest here this is food just food uh, gather some sugar cane we'll probably be needing that we'll make a farm for that eventually uh, did kill a rabbit so I got some raw rabbit but those things are pretty hard to chase down so not a, not really useful um, for a food product uh, as you can see on our crops I finally man I collected and replanted several times so I did get um, a, you know quite a bit of more carrots I'm gonna stop at this for carrots um, 
I'm going to do some more wheat pretty soon. But I thought what I would do is I would fill this chest. I put this chest up where I can walk underneath of it. Um, and uh, it's, it's just going to be potatoes. I'm going to fill this up with regular potatoes. And as you can see, these are ready to be harvested. I'm not going to do that here on camera. I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera uh, later today. And uh, keep replanting, fill this up. Uh, one thing I did do, I don't think I did this on the last episode, was I put some white carpet over the uh, water spots. Now, what this does, this will prevent any crops from landing inside the water where I have to drop down into the water and then jump back out and in order to collect what's down in there. Uh, it'll also allow me to walk across it. So, uh, and it, it um, doesn't immediately destroy when I click on it, whereas the mo you barely click on the crops and you'll collect those. So, put those in there. As you can see, I got a I'm getting low on potatoes. I, I got some backup food here. Um, still got plenty of meat. And I got bread, apples. Collected the, a bunch of apples while I was doing my tree farm. And uh, so that's about it for that. Um, I did light up, as you can see, a bit more area. Keep stuff from, from spawning. There's a ledge here that... Uh, it dips down on the other side so uh, mobs should not be able to do much more than get up on top of this they shouldn't want to jump down here because that'll that'll hurt them pretty bad um, so I uh, created that ledge just as a little protection while I'm along here and if they do jump down they're gonna land on this side of the fence um, but they're, again, they're not going to, unlikely they'll do that. Uh, I put more torches out around that way along the wall. So this area over here is lit up a bit more, keeps stuff from spawning. Uh, there's a few dark patches, but nothing I'm going to really worry about. Um, put some stairs along there. Uh, that just for convenience it kinda looked cool too um, to get up these little ledges quicker and uh, let me go around over here I'll show you the tree farm and the egg farm now oh I also blocked off the two source blocks alright the water is the source blocks are still there but now you really only you know you're only gonna take from that one spot anyway so uh, piggy. So yeah, I put a few torches up as high as I could reach. I should put one right there. But uh, this here, we'll start with the egg farm. I put more stairs here. I took this little horseshoe shape part in the mountain and I put the egg farm in here instead of out there that way I can make use of that space and what I did was created the same system I had out there uh, hopper going into another hopper though and then that uh, it it was like do I have any I don't have any blocks well anyway it was like I put the hopper the chickens are right above it and then right below that is another hopper so this one's piping into this one and then that's piping into another hopper here which pipes into a double chest so that's how that is and that allows me to have a nice solid f floor uh, 3 by 9 uh, or 3 by 3 and uh, you can see I put some glass here so you can see the chickens I put about 25 chickens in there so they laid they quickly build this chest and as you can see there's more eggs inside now each of the hoppers are full also so if I took a bunch of the eggs out the hoppers would start to funnel what eggs they have into here and to replenish this and 25 chickens yeah they're they're laying those eggs real fast 
So uh, I'm not going to have an egg problem. And I left a little walkway here on both sides. Uh, I don't know why I did too wide here, but uh, if a baby chick was to get out here for some reason and it was down here, it would be attracted to the adults, so it would come up the stairs and drop down in, and then it would be trapped. And it's two blocks tall, so they can't fly out of there. And uh, I thought about capping it off. Usually I cap it off, but I decided to build... It's a little bit bigger than I actually made, but that's what I went with. And um, so, yeah, that's uh, the egg farm. Oop, I just placed a torch somewhere. Let's get on that. All right. Next thing I did was I did a tree farm. Now, like I did this one, I leveled it out and expanded it a bit. So I went out and made it nice and flat. Then I placed my trees. It, they were uh, every fourth spot. Now you can actually, I could plant trees every other spot and I would have a ton of trees. The problem with that is when you're short on saplings, you're not going to get very many saplings from these leaves because every other block you're not getting as many leaves. So this is a nice, oops. yeah, you heard that. I saw him. He was down here somewhere. I don't know where he's at. Oh, hi. Uh, yeah, don't want to look at you. Not looking at you. Not looking at you. Not looking at you. Not looking, not looking. Also made a spot over here. Where is it? Uh, okay. Now where are you? Come on. I'm ready for you now. No. Don't want. Oh. Where are you up on my? Hmm. Anyway. Hopefully I don't have to deal with him. I'll leave that open for a minute. So uh, I planted my every other every fourth block. That was most of the time I was running around chopping down the next tree. Then I'd break some leaves. You know, I'd replant. Um, and there is a five by f oh, what is it? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six six by five so I have 30 trees planted in here and I planted uh, a torch the same but I a little bit off so the light shines that way it lights that up these light up this way so nothing should spawn in here um, there's a concern that uh, maybe a spider or something would spawn on top of the tree but uh, I put uh, this glass up here uh, glass ceiling. This is uh, the eighth block from the floor. So the tree can grow up to maximum of seven because this ceiling will prevent it from growing taller. Now what that does is I can't, yeah, as you can see, I can't hit the glass. Okay, If it was down at the seventh level, there's seven blocks between the glass and the ground. So this is the eighth block. And if it was down one more, I would be able to make you know to hit the glass, which you know I might accidentally break it. So I put it up one. That allows the trees to grow up to a certain height. Okay, that allows it to most of the time they'll just be do this tree right here like that. That's it. Okay. I got five blocks. Now some of them are going to be three, some of them are going to be five, four or five. Uh, I might get one branch going off here, but basically this is like, it's not going to have branches going off that way and that way and being, you know, 14 blocks tall and then I'd have to pillar up with some sand or dirt and uh, in order to 
get up there and get the rest of the wood so that the leaves would decay. So keep it at a certain height and now if I had a sapling I could just replant that go on and keep chopping down trees and eventually this tree would regrow and I found I probably could use like one more row of five and or two um, because there was a couple of times I was waiting a little bit but I really wasn't waiting more than a two or three minutes and then another tree would grow and I'd go over and chop that down and then I go around you know with my fists and break leaves and and uh, we'll see if we can find ourselves a sapling here and um, there's one okay so we replant that so it really you know and you could also use bone meal uh, if you collect enough bones you can you can create uh, a nice stack of bone meal and then you come over here and you just you just oh, not that way you just use your uh, bone meal you know on the I keep hitting it on the sapling and it'll grow now it doesn't always grow in instantly sometimes you have to use a few um, and I believe you have to stand back a little bit because um, I've stand, I've stood next to one once and I just kept using bone meal and I was like okay why isn't this tree growing I want it to grow instantly so I can chop it back down and then I can plant another one you know and uh, I had you know I had a skeleton farm so I had lots of bones so I had plenty of bone meal but that wasn't working and then one time I was standing you know a little bit back and I used some bone meal now I don't know if that was just a fluke um, I've also used bone meal on a sapling from a little bit of a distance and it didn't grow instantly it um, it's, it's like it sometimes maybe stages of growth in a tree so it yeah it might take a, f a few times uh, sometimes it doesn't always update on every tick so yeah so that's what I've done on the last episode as you can see there's one of my gates I put another gate over there so I can get out and that and I put the fence around more to keep myself from falling off that ledge um, and it kind of I, I kind of like this stair setup it, it really kind of you know I mean you, you can go and you can just you know get around by jumping jump jump you know but the stairs kind of give it a, a, a feel you know this is more terraced and uh, rather than jumping around uh, by the way if you jump or sprint in crops uh, it can take that irrigated land and turn it back to just plain dirt so you it's best if you be very careful when you're walking around there don't don't run just walk around doing your harvesting and replanting and don't jump up and down um, that includes like if if I was if I had a block here and I wanted to get in there and I jumped up on that and then got over the fence because as you can see you can't jump over the fence the fences are like slightly over one block tall so that prevents things from getting up and over the fence other than spiders and intermen teleporting in um, but you can you know you could place a block here and then something could come up jump up on that and then get up over the fence but um and of course mobs cannot open the, the doors so uh i and also i uh, you know i did the the glass i went i extended it out a little bit um just for i don't know i just kind of felt like you know I could have just taken it you know like right here out like right here or right here and done that but I went a, you know I went an extra block that way I think I went a couple blocks that way and uh, it's fine um, the extension just basically keeps uh, mobs from spawning and uh, getting into the tree farm uh, now nothing well, with all the, the lights up there nothing can spawn on the trees the ceiling keep, prevents the trees from growing above a certain height which allows us to 
to make it make harvesting a little simpler and uh, you know you don't get a lot of, you don't get a lot but with the trees constantly growing you can just spend you know I think I spent an hour out here just harvesting and I gained a lot of wood it's all oak right now um, later on when I have you know like a whole chest full of of uh, oak wood and I have plenty of torches and coal or charcoal uh, planks and sticks and, and whatnot then I might plant some acacia out here some find some jungle wood and um, I probably won't do much with uh, dark oak because you got to have four of them you plant four of them in order to make dark oak grow you have to plant one two three four like that four saplings and then that will eventually grow into one two by two tree with branches and everything so that gets a little messy and uh, but you know dark oak has its purpose uh, it's it's just the color of the wood so um, acacia has a tendency to branch out funny um, so it, it's not a tree I much care for plus it doesn't have many leaves so the odds that you're gonna get another sapling is reduced uh, typically you're gonna get another sapling but um, and then uh, you know you might get zero saplings out of one tree and then another tree you might get two or three so uh, it, it balances out but um, it's not necessarily the wood that I care to work with um, you know I just do everything in oak and uh, jungle wood again you know it's it's a tall tree uh, it does have a purpose with the uh, uh, excuse me yawning didn't get much sleep I played quite a bit um, so I took a couple naps but gotta go into work here pretty quick um, so the uh, uh, jungle trees you can plant cocoa beans on the side of the tree and they will harvest or that they'll they'll uh, mature and then when you harvest you'll get cocoa beans and cocoa seeds uh, or no I think it's just cocoa beans um, but you'll if it if you harvest it early you only get uh, one cocoa bean you get your cocoa bean back but uh, let's see where did I put oh yeah over here because we're not using not doing anything with them yet cocoa beans so I only have one so eventually I'll plant a jungle tree and uh, actually let's do that um, let's put oh no I don't have any jungle trees that's right that's that's the reason I got these out of one of the chests um, along with some um, uh, as you can see I killed a few innermen um, I got some beetroot seeds so we're gonna be planting some beetroots eventually um, kill the squid so I got an ink sack that was kinda of fun chasing him down uh, turn some bone into bone meal I was trying an experiment with something oh it was with a uh, the dark oak tree and uh, I had forgotten that you had to have you know two, two by two on the saplings I only had one jungle tree uh, one dark oak tree so what I was using bone meal trying to make the tree grow and it wasn't growing and then I realized oh yeah you gotta have four saplings and uh, so I went collecting those but then I was when I was out there I was like well why don't I just chop down a couple of the trees and I'll have the wood I need to make my gates because that's what I was out there trying to do so that's it for what I've done um, like I said I did a lot of exploring over in there uh, lots of underground uh, dungeoning or uh, uh, spelunking we'll use that word because dun we didn't we only found one dungeon uh, but then um, we went over we were still looking for the skeleton farm so I went over in the village and I went down in some of those holes that were in the in the village and explored some of those lit them up a little bit 
and uh, still can't find a skeleton farm. I also used a mod that uh, where how did he he probably spawned like over here and then wandered. Okay, um, so I used a mod that I have. Um, it, it's a cheat mod. Okay, uh, it what it does is it it's called the X, useless X-ray mod, and uh, up here it it really what it does is it removes a lot of the blocks. Now, um, what it will show you is iron, uh, gold, lapis, redstone, and diamond. It'll also allow you to see where the lava is. So if you're underground, you could tunnel around and collect resources. And uh, if you feel comfortable doing it with the mod turned on, then you know you can collect a lot of resources, but you're in danger of, of a possible fall because you can't see the regular blocks because it removes all of them. And uh, like these stairs, I could see the stairs, I could see the torches, um, a lot of the cobblestone blocks that I placed, I was able to see those. And uh, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cheat using that to go after iron and and diamond and whatnot. Uh, I'm gonna do it the regular the regular way. But I what I was doing it f using it for was I went out and I um, was looking around trying to see if I could see dungeons. All right, and so I went out and there's a if you see that right there, I went out to this island out here and collected a bunch of trees while this was growing, and uh, I created a path right on the, the surface of the water. Now it's down in the water, but you're you're walking on the blocks, so they're down. They're like it. If this was the water level, this is the block. Um, so the water flows up to it. So if I fall off, I can jump up. Now, if I built it where this was the water and that was the block, I wouldn't be able to jump up there because that's that's two blocks tall. I'd be down in this water, and I, I can't jump that high to get up on top of that block. So I built it down in the water but on the surface. Um, and I also collected a bunch of sand while I was out there uh, for this project right here. Um, I also have a little branch that goes off and to another small little island where I collected some finish up sand because I wasn't quite enough um, from the first time I went out there and um, so anyway yeah I was looking around trying to find a skeleton farm or even a zombie uh, I'm sorry I keep saying farm uh, spawners uh, I was looking for a dungeon that had a skeleton spawner or a zombie spawner uh, the zombie one isn't quite as useful to me. Um, it, the zombies will drop, uh, if they're wearing armor, you can get them to drop that. And you can also um, get a lot of rotting meat, which could come in handy if you're using a couple of priests for uh, collecting emeralds in the trades. And we'll get into that. Um, can I hit him from here? I know I can, but <laughs> just call me Deadshot. Oop. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste my arrows. I got plenty, but every time daylight comes around and I see some arrows laying on the ground from the skeletons burning up, I collect them. Uh, eventually, we'll have a bow that only doesn't require arrows. Or you have to have one arrow in your inventory. Um, that's because it, it'll have an enchant called Infinity or Infinite, um, and then you only need one arrow, and it never uses it up. And then, um, and we'll we'll of course have lots of arrows once we find a skeleton dungeon and a spawner that we can get a full chest full of arrows for whatever use 
and uh, we'll have plenty of bone and then we'll have we'll start getting armor and and bones from the skeletons um, the other thing I uh, something I noticed as I was exploring now I, you, you might have seen it I saw it before this right here let me let me run out here real quick let me get a better view of it get past these spires here see that over there take a look at that now if you're from the United States you're probably familiar with Seattle's Space Needle and I kinda got that feeling from that you know it's basically there's some uh, you know it's terraced a little bit it's got some snow on it so you know it, it, it tapers out but it doesn't taper out much but it enough to give it a little white on the here and then this is like mostly straight or tapering in so snow isn't collecting on it what I would, thought I would do I would leave it like this but I'm gonna go in at the base make a staircase that goes up in the middle I'm gonna hollow it out right there where all that stone is I'm gonna put some windows in there just one straight all the way around just like the space needle so you can and it'll just be a big room that might be where we make our permanent or our, our more permanent uh, base or it might just be a you know a little home away from home a little vacation spot you know we'll go over here and we'll you know play in the snow um, so I th that's a project I'll probably do eventually um, thought it would look cool and I th thought what we would do today is work on an iron farm now I might I probably end up doing some of it on camera and some of it off camera and I'll do a progress update um, let's get rid of this block now if you use shovel on snow you get a snowball if you use a regular block you don't get anything alright so if you're looking for some snow some snowballs and the thing about snowballs is you can throw these you can hit stuff but it really doesn't do any damage and it might if you throw it at a mob uh, a hostile mob it'll it'll aggro them you know they'll they'll come at you but they're probably coming at you anyway uh, I don't think it does any damage or if it does it's very small uh, yawning and some more and uh, there we go burp I uh, love that that burp that they the character does um, another thing I'm gonna do eventually is my little logo I might I, I'm still working on the banner and the logo for my uh, channel on YouTube but I thought this surface here that'd be kind of cool to f kind of flatten this out a little bit like take one you know one or two layers in or maybe patch patch some of this take out any coal or whatever and just turn it all into uh, gray stone and then in that embed a or maybe have it extended out have my logo on here thought that would look kind of cool um, not something I'm going to work on right away. That and that'll be an off-camera thing that I'll come back in and go. See, it's, there it is. That's that's what I created, and I'll go on with the the regular part of the video because I, I want to teach you guys, uh, a ver you know how to how to make stuff. You know, I don't want I don't want to spend all my time showing you how I'm what I'm working on. Uh, if you like seeing what I'm doing, you know, then then I'll I'll change it up. But uh, for the most part. Uh, you know something like that you know I might do progress updates maybe I'll do a video of that and uh, I'll just edit out all the dead parts of the video because I probably won't talk through with the whole thing and um, so yeah we're gonna build our iron farm right here now the reason I chose this is this far enough away from my temporary base 
that's not going to interfere. Um, it's far enough away from this door, so that door won't register as, as part of the village. Because um, I want to keep it away from the village. Now, some people build their iron farm at the village, but the problem with that is the iron golems, which is the whole point of the village, the iron golems will end up spawning on the ground. And we don't want them to spawn on the ground. We want them to spawn up in the air. Uh, usually, I go out in the water because they won't spawn on the water. But um, I wanted to test out, and, and I could be completely wrong about this. I, as long as I go up high enough, they shouldn't spawn on the ground. The thing about in the water that I was concerned about one time was that I might get an iron golem that spawns in the wrong spot and he walks off the ledge and drops into the water. Well now he's down you know, in the water on the, uh, on the floor of the ocean and he's counting towards the number of golems for that village that's in the sky and re thus reducing my iron count or my spawn count of iron golems and uh, because he's still alive and because he's down in the water I don't see him I don't know he's down there so that I can go down and kill him um, which would be bad anyway because uh, that affects your your popularity with the village so I thought well let's do it on land um, but we'll do it high enough up off the ground that they that when they drop you know they'll still drop all the way down here because I don't want to be up in the air trying to gather my my iron but they'll be but it be up there high enough that um, that they're not gonna spawn down here so that means I gotta go up we're at 64 I think what I'm gonna do is go up to about 150 so I'm gonna gather some resources uh, I got them in the chest over at the base and I'm gonna pillar up to the top and I'm gonna make a platform and then that platform will be our little per safety net that'll be kind of our scaffolding and then from there I'll will um, I'll come back and we'll start the co main construction of the iron uh, iron farm all right okay I'll talk to you in a little bit all right I'm back uh, it took a little longer than I intended, but uh, I got a start on the iron farm. Uh, as you can see, this is my secondary account, and he's just looking at the bed. Let's get him looking up. Say hi. All right. So yeah, he's pretty dumb. He's just uh, a tune that or a, a account that I use to keep this area loaded. So the trees over there grow and the crops grow. Obviously, I have harvested them, them again. So now we're, we're getting there. Um, haven't done anything else. I did do a little exploring. I was looking for some more gold because I ran out. I used up all my gold on power rails to create this. This is originally I was gonna I was gonna I'm gonna do the iron farm above this little island out here, but I was gonna do from over here. I was gonna do my stair steps going up. And, uh, and I also thought about just pillaring up to the top there. Uh, it's this level here is at 155, or no, I'm sorry, 150 is what you're standing at uh, up there. Um, then I thought, you know, I eventually I got to put the uh, villagers up in there to get it going. So I thought, okay, well, let's uh, put the rail system in so that when we are ready for them we can grab some villagers and cart them up there so let's go take a look at that um, I've got some resources on me I got my cobblestone I got some dirt because I am gonna pillar up to that point at, and do my platform and then I'll make the connection and uh, but I'll, I'll show you the uh, I got my some more red torch redstone torches uh, Hard rails, rails, my mine cart, um, and then some dirt for pillaring up. Uh, I got any, yeah, I got that, and that should be in yeah, one, one shell. I probably need two, but that's right. 
can't move over here. I went down in this hole that I had found earlier, and I was looking for iron, uh, not iron, uh, gold, and it just, I adventured all around underground in that hole, and I came out with like three pieces of gold. So I went down in my mine, and I had bypassed some gold in favor of iron, and so I grabbed all that and I got enough to finish up the rail system up to the point we're at plus I have a few few more so I'm good there uh, I got some iron lots of iron while I was down in there and um, so I've got a few rails should be enough it's enough it'll be enough for this build um, so I'll explain the rail system the rail system uh, let's put the mine cart in our in, the, in our hot bar and if we step over here and we click you can only place the minecart on rails okay but then you can click on it and you're inside the minecart all right if you jump you're outside and then you can hit it with your pickaxe uh, you can hit it with other tools it may take a few more hits but a pickaxe works really good Let's eat. As you can see, we got a bunch of potatoes. Uh, so I'm going to show you first of all what this does. Now, oh, all right. Let's get out. Okay, let's try that again. Thought it would go. So we go into the minecart and we push forward. And as soon as it hits a powered rail, it accelerates. And I put powered rails every third rail, or every second rail, so that it would um, get all the way up here. And then I put it every 12 rails, and it will make the turn. You don't have to worry about that. And you can see the redstone torches. So now this is the tricky part. You jump. Don't move to the left or right. Okay, and then oh, we're off. So, the way the power rails work is you have to have a redstone torch next to the powered rail. That powers that rail and allows your, uh, your minecart to be accelerated forward. Uh, forward being whichever direction you're current. So the momentum will keep you going in that direction. Now this is important because obviously, yeah, the minecart's not going to go up this unless it's got something to give it some thrust. Also, if you have uh, just rails and you have a villager in a minecart, the villager will be able to come back to the village, and there's nothing you can do about it. So you have to, if you with powered rails it forces him to where you want him to be um, and then when he gets to the end if there's no rail he boom off off the track and then he's stuck until you come over and push him where you want him to be so um, now uh, let's show so regular rails that's pretty self-explanatory now they will Let's uh, show you something about the orientation of these. Uh, it's if you place a track, it doesn't matter if you're which way you're facing. It's going to face north south. All right. When you place another track next to it, it'll connect it up. All right. So if I place one here and then one there, it'll connect, make the connection. Okay. So uh, and then if I put this one here first and then put this one, it'll make the curve. So you can kind of figure out which way the, the tracks are going to go. Um, let's, I don't, didn't bring my bed with me. Um, I'm going to go rest and get it daytime again and I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Okay. All right. Um, let's 
get a spider out of here. Come here, spider. So that's the regular rails. And when you have a block, put that there. And you put a regular track here. And of course, it's still doing the, rot the orientation of north-south. But if I put a track here, it'll make the angular uh, track going up the block. OK, so if I put another block right here and put another track on top of that, then it'll, that'll angle that one up, just like you see these ones. So um, get those. Now, for powered rails, they're placed exactly the same way, OK? But they cannot make that turn. So you have to place the powered rails before or after a turn. Okay, now next to the powered rail, uh, let's look at it this way. If you, as you can see, it's kind of a dark red. If I put a torch next to it, it lights up. Okay, now it'll light up this track and it'll light up a few if you've got like several tracks in a row. So you see how that lights up? Okay, so one torch is good for a few of them as long as they're connected to each other but that's pretty heavy on the on the gold so once we have a lot of gold then we would be able to do that but this is sufficient for for gaining altitude up to the level 150 that puts me about 90 let's see I think it was 64 over on the island so that puts me at 80 to 90 above the uh, level of the island. So now these are considered, this track is considered to be flat. So placing the torch here will power this rail, even though it's angled. This block is powered by this torch. So uh, putting a block here and putting a torch on top of it would not power this because that would be considered up above that level. And I also cannot power the rail by putting a torch on the side here because that's below it. And you can't place a torch here on that surface because this rail is occupying that block space. So that's important to, to know. So what I do is I go and in this case I put a block sticking out every other every other step so that it matched up with the powered rails. I put torch for light to keep mobs from spawning along here while I was running up here and then a uh, power or a redstone torch to power the powered rail. So um, and let's put we're gonna take those out of our inventory. We're gonna go over we're going to pillar up and make a platform. And I think that's going to be about all to do on this video. Um, just want to get up there, make the connection, and have a pillar to, or a, a platform to work with. And uh, then the next video, I'll work on actually constructing the, the iron farm itself. So... Um, Again, I, I recorded this second part of the video a little bit later than I intended to. Uh, some things came up, pers personal life, whatnot. I had to go to work and uh, came home and, it, you know, didn't get a chance. So, uh, so we're going to put a block here, step on it, and we're going to go up to level 150. And probably what we should also do is put some torches all around this island, keep stuff from spawning that we don't want to spawn, all the mobs. Animals don't make any dif difference, but... And... 
that's kind of a funny glitch. Eight, eat a little something. All right, so we are now at this level. So what we're going to do is take our cobblestone, and I know I'm not matched up here, so uh, I'm not sure if that really, I'm not really sure I care about that. Um, let's just crouch so we can go to the edge without falling off, and we'll start placing blocks. Now what I'm doing is I'm doing to get into this corner right here, I do back. I'm backing up and pressing to the uh, right. And then as I place a block, he goes to the next corner, and we'll just go all the way over. All right. So now we got our track for getting up here, and we've also got a pillar that we can go up and down. Um, I could build a uh, a ladder system, but that that'd be pretty resource intensive for my cobblestone and my dirt, um, as well as wood. So uh, we'll just leave it like that and crouch. All right, is this the part of the island that I want to be on? Yeah. All right, so what we'll do is go like that. And we'll make a small platform. We'll probably bring a chest up here and uh, you know what? Actually, let me uh, I think what we'll do is we'll put a chest and a bed up here, put all of our resources, and then we'll build a platform over there, and then we'll just once the uh, platform is built the farm is built and we're ready to pillar down we'll just destroy this part and probably take this out and once we got the the farmers over here we'll probably take this whole thing down um, maybe I'm not sure um, I'd like to get the resources back but you know all the the rails and the and everything but it's not that big of a deal to me and maybe if I do something else up here, having it already built. Now yeah, we'll see. Anyway, so that's going to do it for this video. Um, if you liked it, uh, give me a like. And be sure to subscribe and share, please. And uh, next video, we'll get, this, we'll get this finished up and start putting our villagers in there. And then we'll um, probably get that chicken farm started up so we have chicken instead of potatoes so catch you tomorrow